welcome back. Uh, today I got some new parts in for the Gen 8 uh, from Club 5 Racing. I got the uh, servo relocation mount to uh, fix the uh, steering geometry on the front of the Gen 8 and I also got their um, Husky Link steering link set for the Gen 8 also. Pretty thick uh, bars there so I'm going to do uh, an install on both of these pieces on my Gen 8 there today. So uh, let's get to work. Guys, so I'm gonna start taking things apart, get ready for the install of the new relocation mount. I'm sure most of us know how to do most of this. You gotta take the front bumper off. The servo has to unbolt. I already know um, Triple X RC Garage. He just did this recently, just like a few days ago. I, last week I saw his video of the install and was looking into it. And after looking at the video on Club 5 Racing, that was the seller for me of I'm gonna get this because of what I saw in their video. Okay, so I just disconnected the uh, steering link from the servo. And now I've got to disconnect the servo, unbolt it. And I, do, I plan to do, uh, I'm going to weigh the new piece and what we take out, see what weight difference there is. So I'll include that in this video, along with links in the description to the pieces that I bought. I think I have about $45 in these parts. Alright, so I had to fight with this thing for a few minutes to figure out how to get it in, and I found that coming in this way and like so okay what did I do here something Capacitors and the motor are sort of in the way. There you go, how it sits in there. All right, guys, so um, I was having a little bit of difficulty getting the holes over here lined up, and it was because the ground wire on the motor was down and it was not letting it slide in because it is real close in there, as you can see. Um, so I was able just to bend the tab upwards because I am still on the stock uh, red cap motor and everything is in where it needs to be so I just got finished putting screws in. Alright guys so I have the servo relocation mount in. I have the um, Club 5's Husky links installed. Technically I haven't done the rear one back here in the back. The, Screws a little hard to get to. I just didn't feel like dealing with it right now, and I'm going to be doing a motor swap in the near future, and I think that'll make it easier, so I'm going to hold off. But um, with the way it is right now, this is steering. I'm not hitting the, the pumpkin on the diff anymore. Uh, I, I do have my 
my dual rate turn to 60, 65 ish. Um, but it seems like I've got good steering. I'm gonna put the uh, wheels back on it and the body and put it back down and sort of uh, see what the, the body leans like uh, with the new setup. So let me get that done. So here guys, showing you a little bit before doing the uh, relocation, how the, what it looks like. And I'll do an after, after the new stuff's installed. All right, so here's after everything's installed. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think, uh, I don't know that the body roll is reduced much at all. Um, we'll uh, get it out on the course and see how it performs out there. So stay tuned for that. So I've installed everything. I've got to play with it on the backyard course. At first I was not thinking I saw much of a difference, but the more I played with it on the course, I have seen that my steering is definitely much better. I was hoping for less body roll. I'm not necessarily seeing that, but the steering overall is better. So I'll put links below in the video, but the two items that I purchased, that's the aluminum servo relocation and the Husky Link steering link set, uh, both of which are from Club 5 Racing. I'll put links below in the uh, description. Um, hopefully this is helpful for other people that decide to do this. If you like what you see, please like, subscribe, share, and have a good time, guys. Thank you.